Hello everyone, I am Priya Singh from Mumbai. In this video, we are going to study about one of the major topics in abstract algebra, which is the group theory. Now, before we study what is a group theory, let us see what is an abstract algebra in brief. In the late 19th century, algebra was no longer restricted to the ordinary number system. It expanded to the study of algebraic structures. Thus, abstract algebra can be defined as a set of advanced topics of algebra that deals with the abstract algebraic structures rather than the usual number systems. The structures include groups, rings, fields, modules, vector spaces, etc. Abstract algebra is also referred to as modern algebra. The basic three algebraic structures are the groups, rings, and fields. As per their terms, the study of groups is known as a group theory, the study of rings is known as a ring theory, whereas the study of fields is known as the field theory. Let us take an example to study more about the group theory. Let's assume that we live on an alien planet, where the length of the day is 7 hours. So the clock will look something like this, that is from 1 to 7. Now suppose that the clock numbers begin from 0. So the clock will be with the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. That is for to make the total of 7 hours. Let's add 2 hours plus 1 hour. So 2 then 1. So it will be total of 3 hours. That is in this clock, it would be 3 o'clock, right? Now, suppose we have to add 2 hours plus 3 hours. So, it would be total 5 hours. That is in this clock, it will be around 5 o'clock, right? If we have to add 3 plus 4, so 3 plus 4 is 7 o'clock. But in this clock, we have 0 so that it makes 0 o'clock or say the time is 0 in this case but suppose if we have to add 3 hours plus 5 hours so after 3 hours we have count total 5 hours so plus 1 then 2 3 4 and 5 so according to this it is coming at 1 o'clock right but 3 plus 5 we know that it is total of 8 hours. So in this case 8 hours is what? 1 o'clock. So thus we can say that 3 plus 5 makes 1. Such a type of an example comes under the topic group theory. Now we are going to study one of the most important algebraic concepts called group. The term group was coined by Galois around the year. 1830 to describe sets of one-to-one -one functions on finite sets that could be grouped together to form a closed set. So a group is a set on which a law of composition is defined such that every element of the set has an inverse element. Now let's define what is a group. Let G be a non-empty set together with a binary operation star which goes from G cross G to G. That is, it assigns each ordered pair, say A comma B which is in G cross G, an element which is in G. And it can be denoted as A comma B goes to A star B. So, I said G is a group under the operation star if the following properties are satisfied. The first property is the closure property. For any two elements in G, if A star B also goes in G, then we can say that the set G is closed under the operation star. The next property is the associative property. Say for any three elements in G, if a is operated with B star C is same as when C is operated with A star B. Existence of identity element. 
देन एग्जिस्ट ए यूनिक एलिमेंट इन जी सच दैट ए स्टार ए इज इक्वल्स टू ए स्टार ए दैट इज इट इज इक्वल्स टू ए एक्सिस्टेंस ऑफ इनवर्स एलिमेंट फॉर एवरी एलिमेंट ए इन जी देर एग्जिस्ट एन एलिमेंट बी इन जी सच दैट ए स्टार बी इज इक्वल्स टू ई द आइडेंटी एलिमेंट एंड B star A is also equals to E. Thus, in short, any non-empty set G is said to be a group if it is closed with respect to the defined operation. The operation is associative, and G has an identity element with every element in G having an inverse element. So, if G is a group under the operation star, we can say that. G comma star is a group. Elementary properties of a group. Say if G and star is a group, then identity element of G is unique. Every element of G has an unique inverse. Where the unique inverse of any element, say A, is denoted by A inverse. Now let us see few of the examples. Let us consider G to be the set of all real numbers, which is denoted by R, under the operation of usual addition. So, for any two real numbers, A plus B is also a real number. That is, we can say that the set of real numbers is closed with respect to addition. If we consider any three real numbers, then the associative property also holds. There exists a number zero in real numbers such that a plus zero is equals to a, and zero plus a is also equals to a. That is where your a is any element in the set of real numbers. So thus, zero is called the identity identity in the set of real numbers R. Now, if for any element in real number. There exists an element minus of a in R such that a plus minus of a is equals to zero, and also minus a plus a gives you zero. Thus, this set of real numbers that is R satisfies all the properties of group with respect to the usual addition. Hence, we can say that. the set of real numbers is a group with respect to addition now let us consider this next example where g is a set of all integers that is z under the ordinary multiplication star so if we consider any two integers then a star b also belongs in z that is we can say that z is closed with respect to the multiplication operation Now, if we consider any three elements in Z, then associative property also holds. The set Z also has multiplicative identity as one. That is, one multiplied by any element, say A, one multiplied by A is equals to A, and A multiplied by one is also equals to A. But if we consider an element say three in Z, then there is no such element in Z such that three when multiplied by the that element B is equals to one. Thus, we can say that inverse of elements does not exist in the set of integers. Z is not a group with respect to multiplication operation. I would like to conclude this video in a humorous way that group theory is a mathematical world where two plus two is equals to one. Thank you.